do you see here hi guys and gals well it is Wednesday of the week after I've just that we've come back from uh, Africa and you might say well why are you vlogging why aren't you showing things from Africa well I will I put up uh, was a live video um, on the on a balcony over there and a little bit of dancing in the village but uh, more will be coming uh, since I was over there uh, we were over there I should stop saying I since we were over there with a foundation and I have like over four hours worth of videos some for me and some a lot for the foundation it's you know kind of putting out <laughs> finding what what to do and when and uh, a lot of pictures so uh, yeah it's gonna be keeping me busy <laughs> sun it's kind of nice it was very very hot over there it was like close to 40 around 40 degrees not Fahrenheit but Celsius if you look that up you'll see it's pretty hot even the Africans were sweating what did I think of Africa well I guess one would have to say uh, in general or in particular I definitely will not want to live there <laughs> boy is it chaotic boy is it messy um, people are always trying to get to you at you get to your money uh, I don't know if I'd been without my friends if we would have survived an hour <laughs> you know you have to be very careful in particular though I met some really wonderful people we did some great great lobbying for the foundation we've got some some school projects and uh, training projects which are ongoing we wait we met with ministers in their offices uh, different politicians in their offices people on the ground and people in the villages seeing their needs and understanding also now if there's one thing I have learned for sure is that you don't just go in there and tell people what to do that's not the idea either it, but it's to give them a hand. What we do see though is that if you just give things, usually they get destroyed, stolen, broken. Uh, you got to teach people how to repair things as well. It's not like very often there's almost the attitude, give me another one. Uh, I'll probably have a lot of bits and parts of logs <coughs> coming up where I will probably give my opinion on some of the characters uh, that we met there but one thing for sure if anybody ever tells you uh, that only white people can be racist not true not true um, we were there two weeks and a half if you take a pa aside from uh, myself Mrs. DC and uh, the uh, husband of the couple we were with the lady was from the country that makes three white people I don't think I saw 20 other white people in two weeks. Uh, 30 at the most. I don't no, I, I don't even think I saw that many. Really. Uh, Abidjan is a town of 8 million people. Uh, we drove all over. I mean, and, and the, okay, I don't, didn't expect to really see many white people in the, in the bush. But, you know, in the city of 8 million in different places, and we visited one or two touristic places, people came to us to have selfies with the white people. You know, this type of thing. Did you say selfie? Yeah, I did. Uh, they just skipped from land, like many uh, developing countries. There are no landlines there. Everybody has uh, cell phones. You know, there's villages which don't have electricity, don't have running water where we were. But there's a there's a cell phone company antenna in the you know close to the village. People use cell phones um, very often. Smartphones. They uh, uh, they trade actually. They almost had they use well. It's not all, almost. They basically use them as virtual money. Uh, you know, trading somehow. I guess like sending off. Uh, they even pay taxis and stuff like that with it. They have really, really fancy malls in Abidjan. I mean, I mean really fancy. 
really great clothes and stuff like that and watches and everything and it's Swiss prices I mean who can pay for that I really mean it's Swiss prices I was comparing things and it was the same really the same price that we are paying over here and everybody says that we're expensive and we are so you know it's like what the heck is going on here oh anyway I mean uh, there's a lot we had some digestive problems the food is is good it's extremely spicy I thought of Dave Nicholson many times because his food is so spicy but good the problem is is that Africans and I'm not saying this disparagingly but you know 15 minutes five minutes uh, don't exist if you say I'm gonna leave I'm leaving in five minutes you might leave you might leave two hours later people wait it's a question of showing how important you are and how off long you make somebody wait and that really is a big thing if you're working with politicians we have had meetings and I mean have had all the time we never had one that started faster than four hours past the appointed time um, you know and what do you do in the meantime you wait or you organize other meetings believe it or not oh there really is like I say a lot that I could say there I have to be careful because I know in this beautifully politically correct environment you shouldn't say things like that but yeah that's just the way it is which shows that actually auto rule uh, over there is something that should be done by them now what I was talking about the food is if you're having a normal uh, Western style meal it would be spoiled with this type of you know attitude that people like we went to a meal four hours late and we weren't the last ones there um, and when you uh, and it's expected I mean don't come on time uh, when you um, and then, uh, yeah about the food well the fact is is that's why they've got so many of these sauces and uh, slow cooked meals because it doesn't matter if you're late the problem is though is that the bacteria I mean if you're cooking things at boiling temperatures the bacteria are killed but then if you like let things you know cool down and just warm them up the bacteria can come back and then they stay and that's basically what's what, what's creating a lot of the digestive problems well, somebody made a little lean to type thing over there yeah so I guess I'll stop there I mean we, it was a really really good experience um, but it is not a world's different it, it, it's 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 a, like on another planet it really is there's so many things and I think the fact is that it's a country that's gone through a civil war so that's why probably tourism is not back yet and you really feel that that's why there are so many so few white people there and at the same time you kind of feel you know like there's a difference like we were told uh, don't ever negotiate something as a white person have a black person with you and uh, have him or her negotiate because the prices will be like tenfold if you try and you would hear people I mean the comments you know like uh, I mean the, the, the language over there the official language is French but they have their dialects and you would hear people you could hear the, the buzz the whites the whites and they and people would come running so there's uh, certain things I mean that, uh, yeah they were in particular did I like the experience yeah I did would I go back tomorrow no way <laughs> will I go back again maybe maybe but uh, you know it's it's such a such a difference I'll talk about more things now because I'm on to nine minutes so that'll be DC signing off take care everybody and hope you're all well and there'll be some African videos coming up take care bye bye